Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Mike Lakahana from Duelist Project and today I'm bringing you end of a season commentary on Hero Cage. First question should be asked and answered as always is, what is Heroic Age? Heroic Age is an mecha anime aired in spring 2007. Uh, you might be asking why I'm doing quite an old anime because you've seen me recently doing uh, nothing but the new stuff. Yeah, I uh, decided to do something from my backlog as well and to be honest I just got this show quite recently and finished it quite recently as well so I'll be doing end of a season commentary on that even though it has ended a bit ago. So what is Heroic Age? So as I said it's a mech anime uh, there is a lot of uh, fighting in the space so it's quite action, action packed, a lot of ships, a lot of beams and everything. Uh, though I wouldn't say uh, the ship action is quite appealing because well the battles like, are rather quite simple and to be honest the focus of uh, the fighting is uh, on the main protagonist who is called Age. So, and he is uh, part of a hero, hero tribe and does all of the fighting. So, yeah. Um, what kind of impressed me on the show was how straightforward it was. We this notion of we have a leader, we have a guiding light, so let's follow it, we let's go through. So yeah, let's go through that. We have the hope the humanity is going to be saved. So and the blind following just kind of amazed me to be honest. The story writing was rather shallow and the story, I mean it could have been more, I wouldn't say branched, but deeper, more complex. Uh, but it was, I would say, okay for uh, it is. The characters... Yeah, when I have a look at the characters, uh, it's quite... Uh, there is not too much to be said about them, because they are the focus is on the humanity as a whole or just it the anime gives kind of a, spe a special perspective when you're just you're not there you're just overlooking a whole and just watching these little creatures fighting each other and just they're not really too deep i mean except for the all who possess the uh, the heroes who are slightly deeper and uh, main uh, human leader I mean she's got she's slightly drawn more as well but then again she's I mean the characters narrate it rather shallowly so I mean you wouldn't probably pick more generic characters so yeah I mean, visually it was really interesting to see because some of the battles were quite interesting and they were quite flashy sometimes but then again I've seen a lot of recycled scenes, something if I were to compare it to some other space mecha anime would probably compare to Macross with uh, the number of recycled action scenes where you see oh wait a moment I just saw that scene a second ago or you know what I mean so not everything was original well was uh, how to put it original that's not the way uh, non-recycled that would be the best thing to put it uh, uh, you would see the, probably a couple cutscenes or small pieces of action just 
done the same way but with a different background and just like oh come on or even the same scene played later on or even in the same battle it's like oh come on couldn't have you put slightly more effort into that but yeah the, the fights between the heroes were good some of the some of the battles between the ships were quite f good I mean the large scale battles were uh, always okay but the smaller ones were I would say below average so yeah so you, you hear it here yeah. so as I said it's, it's getting nice sex so because everything is just average so it was okay to watch but it didn't you know excite me too much so yeah there was however as I almost forgot is uh, the favorite character I actually have one in this series and she's actually one of the main antagonists so and I would be picking UT so the hero of the silver tribe she is probably the most I would say drawn up character in the series and her character is I mean, really affable or not affable just like really likable and so she's probably one of the characters I or sets of a characters I like so and given that she uh, is of a smaller build and has long silver hair with uh, I think emerald eyes was she had an emerald or blue I think emerald so and that makes her really really there and she's got even breaking moments and everything as I said she's probably best written character of the series as well so yeah Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, this has been Michael Akahane from Duelist Project, and uh, this was end of a season commentary on Heroic Age. And if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, and keep uh, keep tuned for more updates. Thank you for listening, and see you next time.